Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me We're going to start the day with the musical advent calendar today. So, this lovely Fortnum building, number three. And we have to go and have a quick look at the Magic Kingdom. And today's chocolate is dark chocolate with hazelnuts, which we will both enjoy later Welcome today. Welcome day three. It's Thursday the third. And look, it's really miserable out. And um, we did better with the grass this year. It's still got a lot of weeds, but we did get the grass to come back a little bit. There's Willow having her breakfast. We just want to talk about these little bowls here. So they're sort of elevated and we got them on, I think, Amazon. But they really helped reduce like sickness from the cats. So if you do have a cat, it's worth looking into these elevated bowls. They are a nightmare for knocking over though. Hey, I think I'm gonna go for some nice tea this morning. So we've got the Harrods tea, which we tend to save for Christmas. I think we actually picked this up at Gatwick last year on the way to Florida for Christmas. But um, here we are, really nice check. So I think we're gonna go for, I'll just lift it down carefully. But I think we're gonna go for one of the Dream Away mugs today because it feels very miserable out. And uh, we need, it's a brand new day, it's a Dream Away. And um, this is actually our Friday today, so tomorrow we're off work, so. I'm gonna dream about being off tomorrow. Good morning and happy Thursday. I am super excited today because I finish work early today. So um, once a week, generally speaking, I get to finish at 1.45 by working a little bit extra throughout the week, taking a little bit shorter lunch, and then one day a week we get to finish um, a little bit early, which is a nice perk to have, it's a nice benefit, so really thankful for that. So today's that day, but also tomorrow, I have a day off work. So I've got some annual leave to use up um, before the end of the year because we haven't been traveling or going anywhere. So I've kind of just accumulated some holiday that I really need to use up before the end of the year. So yeah, so I'm gonna use a day's holiday tomorrow um, to do that. So, but now it is break time before I finish early today, so it's time to choose the mug. I thought I'd just take this opportunity just to point out a couple of favorite mugs. So the first one is this Starbucks Hawaii mug, which is um, quite big actually, um, but we actually got this, of course, from Hawaii, um, and I just love it because it reminds us of, of that epic trip that we took um, nearly you know, two years ago, next May I think it is, that's insane, time just flies. Um, but yeah, we often have this to remind ourselves of what an epic trip that was. Um, the other mug, uh, which Luke got me from um, Disney, um, is the Wally mug. Um, so this was fairly recent, so I'm pretty sure this will still be available. Um, so we've got Wally, and we've got Eve. So, in case you didn't know, this is one of my favourite films, um, which is... Uh, you don't often hear many people rave about Wally, -E, but um, yeah, any Wally -E mug, um, I'll probably try and get it. So yeah, I'll probably go with that one today. Do you know what? I've changed my mind already, so I'm not actually going to have a hot drink this morning. I'm going to be unconventional and have an iced latte from Costa. So, we bought these fairly recently from, I want to say, Ocado. They were on offer at the time a few weeks ago, five for five pounds. Um, and they're normally like maybe one pound fifty a can, so uh, we thought, yeah, we'll get these. So I'm feeling a cold drink today, which is a little bit weird because it is really rainy and miserable out today. But hey ho, I'm just gonna have a cold one anyway. Okay, so here we go. So I found managed to find some ice in the freezer, um, and I just want to point out these glasses, which we absolutely love. These were from Crate and Barrel in the U.S. Um, which and they're kind of like indentists. They look like one big ice cube um, But we absolutely love Crate and Barrel. We've got some other glasses as well, which I'm sure we will show you on a later vlogmas um, But we just wish that store was in the UK because we would just spend so much money there um, And yeah, so I'm just gonna pour myself a glass of iced glass. 
this is what I mean. It is incredibly rainy and dreary today. So we apparently have snow coming tomorrow. I don't know how accurate the forecast is, but I'm not entirely sure if it does snow, if it will settle because it's super damp and wet and um, yeah, it might just turn to a massive mound of slush. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna head back up to work now and enjoy my latte. So currently got this as a Christmas read, um, an island Christmas, which I saw came up and recommended on Amazon. So I've just started it. It's a really good little Christmas book. So currently reading this when I get um, time in the evenings. Also come down for a mid-morning drink. I'm going for a cool latte today from Starbucks. I normally buy them when they're on the five for five pounds. Um, but love this one. Just down. Hello. Just grabbing a quick drink. So I've noticed I'm running short on my anti-back at my desk, so that's the little, little pot going. <laughs> yeah, that's like, I don't know about you guys, but we've got like an anti-back station at home. Mm -hmm. And we also have this one here. The big ones from, um, we got this one from Ocado, I think, but like uh, Superdrug sell it, Sainsbury's sell it, everywhere sells it. It's just really handy when you come in mm -hmm. for washing hands. So I think. They're all festive in there. Fresh sparkling snow. Nice. There's also um, the green one is Vanilla Bean Noel, is it? Is it Vanilla Bean Noel? Yeah, so we're running very low on uh, Bath and Body Works stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be fine for a while, I think. <laughs> These were all bought um, last Christmas in Florida. Before we go back. And we've still got my mum's bowl there that she, my mum made us a shepherd's pie and we left it there. We need to return that. Oh, it's gone blurry. Just mentioning on this book that I'll link it below. We've got an Amazon um, link. Um, just bear in mind, if you do click on the Amazon link, we do get a tiny commission for that, but it doesn't change the prices, but just for full disclosure. It just is so much easier when we mention stuff to then just link it so you guys can find it. Um, so we will post anything we mention on Vlogmas that we get from Amazon. This that. bag I got from Amazon, which is amazing for your wrapping paper. So I'm going to just show you when it opens up. On one up. side, it stores all the rolls of wrapping paper that you've got. I've got some birthday ones in there as well. Then it's got labels and it's got gift bags. And obviously I've also put in like the tissue paper that we got from Card Factory. But it's so handy just having it in one big thing because these get broken so easily. So I'll, um, I'll link that on our Amazon list. Work is done and it's time to do the tree lighting. Here we go. Yay. Yeah, we wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Best part of the day is getting the tree lights on. Hey everyone. Hello. Work is done. <laughs> we literally dashed. I finished what you finished early today because you yeah. had early finish. So basically when it's my early finish, it's cleaning day. <laughs> <laughs> so the house does smell delightful. Um, well, I finished work and then we had to get to the post office by six o'clock when it closed. So we literally had to get in the car, get down the post office, all done. Yeah. Was really really fast, yeah. yeah. So it's now time for dinner. I think it's pasta tonight and chicken. I've got some chicken to use up. So chicken for you. Um, we'll do some mushrooms. <laughs> Very odd. <It> suddenly went <laughs> blurry. <laughs> so yeah, we're um, gonna pop to Dunelm and collect our click and collect order. So hopefully that's a really easy. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but most of it we've either done delivery or click and collect for everything. So it saves having to wander around the shop, just pop in, grab, grab our order and go. It's actually really good. A lot of shops have stayed open for click and collect service in the lockdown. So that's that's been really handy. Yeah, and this is my mum's birthday present. Yeah. And they wouldn't do online delivery. So it was literally click and collect only. So yeah, so we're we'll checking with you guys this evening. Uh, and we're going to update you guys on our holiday plans as well. Yes, exciting. So it's our Friday, by the way. Yeah, we're <laughs> no off No work tomorrow. Yeah, no work tomorrow. So uh We'll see you in a bit. Real quick, very lazy, Dolmio pasta sauce, so it's already made. And we're having some, is that Garofalo? <laughs> For silly pasta. This is what we call a weeknight meal. Yeah, <laughs> throw it in, throw bit it of in. chicken. So it's been a day of deliveries today. We've had quite a few. <laughs> so um, we're already ordering everything online at the moment. So it's now time to go through and um, organize it all and uh, get the boxes broken down because they take up so much space. On the range, we just you can see the Mickey's fallen down there. I think that's Willow that takes um, Mickey out of the tree. We ordered some new baking trays from for the house just for Christmas from the range. From Boots, we ordered um, Christmas presents. So we can't actually show you those because 
family may be, well be watching. <laughs> Here are the baking trays. They're actually an essentials range from the range, but they're a pound each. And I just feel like we've used them before and they're just so good for just baking, obviously baking, but like cookies and dinners and stuff. They're actually for one pound, they're really good quality um, compared to what you pay in sort of nine, 10 pounds for one. And then we also got from Amazon some cat food. We bulk order the Lily's Kitchen food for Willow and Socks. Um, and it works out cheaper than like Pets at Home or Sainsbury's. So that's really handy as well. This box is from our friend Genevieve, and if, who lives in New York. And if you remember last year, um, Genevieve did a daily advent calendar for us and has sent us again an advent calendar. We're so excited to I'm see so what's I'm so excited. So we're going to open this up. Obviously it's the third today, so we're three days behind. So we're going to get three of them organised tonight with the clues that um, Genevieve's emailed. So thank you so much Genevieve. Thanks, Let's see. Genevieve. Just opened the package from Genevieve and oh my oh, gosh. Wow. So cute. Thank you so much. Look at, it's just amazing. A lovely gift bag with all the advents to go in and then there's one for each day. I'm so excited. And then there's the cat advent calendar. This is amazing. Which is Trader Joe's. So we'll be getting the cats down in a minute and they'll come and see. The wrapping as well is just spot on, <laughs> so always. <cute. laughs> so excited for this. Thank you so much, Genevieve. Thanks I want so to much. say a big thank you to Del and Jen for the lovely Disney Christmas card. I love it. Love a Disney Christmas card. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, guys. Also, thanks to our friends Rich and Jay. They sent us a little card and a little gift. Very snowy card. I don't know whether we should open now or at Christmas. Oh, I'm tempted to open it now. Shall we? <laughs> oh, so we, we caved and opened it. And wow, Rich and Jay, thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's so kind. This little notepad is like an original admission ticket from years ago where you'd go to the park and have a set number of rides. It's so cool. And they've actually given us a Magic Kingdom event party music. Oh, we're so going to listen to that. It's got like Mickey's Not So Scary. It's got the parades, Boo To You parade. That's so sweet. Thank you, guys. This is going to be the soundtrack of our Christmas. It is. <laughs> also, our wonderful friends, Felicia, Mitch, Jenny, Will and Alana, sent us these amazing bath bombs, which we're so excited to try. A little rose. And I just want to say, I've already picked out my favourite. The which one? <laughs> that one? This one here. I've got my on it. Just the colours in general are pretty much right up my street. Yeah. So, And the smell is just amazing. So I've already chosen the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. And these are actually made by a friend of ours, a friend of, of mine specifically that I worked with for like years, um, who's recently gone into business. So it's so nice that um, Felicia and family have done that yeah, so thank you really so nice. much really thoughtful um really really good nice evening. good evening so we just want to say we don't have a p.o box i know we said on the first vlogmas but obviously it's just our friends that are sending us stuff directly so we thought you might like to see um especially stuff that comes from america so cool we actually mailed two packages today back to our friends uh, it's, sort of, it's like not like a gift exchange but like it's nice to share different things from different countries so it's a nice tradition that we've gradually grown to to build over the last few years so it's really nice that we yeah. get to do this i don't know do you guys please comment below do you have any traditions like that do you send certain things internationally or to family i mean obviously this year with with like covid we're probably sending more packages than normal mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we went to the post office today and they said it's going to be quite a wait, isn't it? Yeah, the lady was like, you know, with COVID and Christmas season, things have taken about a week longer, um, which, you know, hopefully it gets there before Christmas, but yeah, it will arrive to, at one point. We need to do Christmas cards. I'm like really antsy because normally by now we've got the Christmas cards out, written them and started posting them. So that's the Sunday job. I think we'll get the Christmas cards down. Yeah. Um, I've got a headset hair. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... We're all wearing headsets probably a lot more than we ever used to wear headsets with like most of my day today was probably six hours on Teams Teams calls. So you just got a headset on and you're like, oh. <laughs> um, it's a new fashion statement nowadays, the headset, hair, you know, hair print. <laughs> yeah. So we got uh, tomorrow off. So we've got a long weekend together, which is nice. Uh, we have got a few things planned. Which we're hoping is going to go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so nervous, like even, making plans. Even the night before the plans were like, Oh, could it still not go ahead? <laughs> but we're going to quickly do some advent calendars before we then talk to you guys about our holiday plans. Yes. Just a lot of you have asked around what we did for 2020 in the end and what we're also planning for for 2021. So we're happy to tell you what we're thinking of doing. Um, yeah. But obviously subject to fingers crossed. We want to keep you guys in the loop. So yeah, definitely we'll discuss those shortly. Yeah. So first one, I'll go to the T one, which is the pucker one. Da, 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 and the one that gives no... 
surprise. <laughs> and I know I said I was going to try the peppermint one. I haven't tried it yet, so I may have it tonight. Yeah. And I'll let you know how it goes. But number three, um, it's so nice seeing what um, calendars everyone else has got as well. Um, I'll hold it for you. This is really know. unorganised of me. I normally look in bust. <laughs> okay. Lemon, ginger, and manuka honey. Manuka so, honey, I love manuka honey. We haven't encountered echinacea yet. Echinacea. 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 If you remember last year, <laughs> echinacea, Rich called echinacea. Echinacea. <laughs> so yeah. funny. It's a, definitely a staple of last year. And um, what about your tea one? What did you get? So, oh hang on, I'm trying to open window number two again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are on window number three and I am absolutely terrible at finding the window. Cannot find it. Can you see number three on there? That's number three. Am I literally blind? There. I've got my... Oh, that's 18. That's 18. There. Oh, wait, it's number three. Found it! <laughs> <laughs> totally unprepared. So let's do this. So we have got... Chamomile and bee pollen infusion. Oh, oh wow. Sounds posh, just from the sound <laughs> it of it. It's not a standard tea bag. Oh, wow. Can you smell the honey? Oh, wow, that yeah. That is a really strong. strong smell of honey, so... Oh yeah, it does I'm smell really nice that. actually. That one actually is quite. You can see a lot, of maybe like dried bits of honey in there. Yeah. Anyway, looking forward the, to that one. The little deck the halls one. Um, has anyone who's got a chocolate one eaten all the chocolates out of it yet? <laughs> we were saying as we were chewing. I said to Rich, when you were a child, did you used to break open the top and just slide the chocolate tray out and eat all the chocolates? Yeah. That was a time totally when that. I don't know about you guys, but advent calendars were never as big as this when we were younger. No. It was just like the standard one pound ones that you get now that. Yeah. You know, like Milky Bar or. Yeah. But is it just a UK thing or let us know in the comments below is it you know has the craze of advent calendars spread globally yeah <laughs> this one a little mini one so it's cute yeah so that's good so we're going to go on to the quiz yep so as a reminder that yesterday's question was I'll hold this up for you if Luke and I could have any snack in Epcot what would it be Loved reading the responses to this yeah. one. Um, it's lovely knowing that you guys know us so well. Yeah, there's, I think almost everyone got it correctly. Some people put two in, and yeah, it could have been well correct on that as well. Yeah. Um, so the answer was Mickey Red Velvet Whoopie Pie. Which I will insert a picture of a Red Velvet <laughs> Whoopie Pie right now. Um, so you can have a look if you don't know already, but they're mm. fantastic. But also, um, some of you did say um, Caramel Couche Popcorn or like um, Cookie, and that would be a close second. So I'm going to give you the point there as well. Yes, yeah. that would be a close second. Um, so just to read out some comments as usual. So well done to Emma Tomlinson. Mickey Whippy Pie Sunshine Seasons is my fave place and I love the pork and mash there. Ooh. Okay, we'll take that tip. Uh, Katie Pearson has to be the Mickey Red Velvet Whippy Pie. Well done. I'll be so annoyed if I'm wrong. Well, you weren't wrong, so don't be annoyed. <laughs> also, just wanted to add that I just adore Willow and Socks. They're my favourite part of Vlogmas every year. Oh, that's so sweet. We will definitely let them know that. Thank you. Um, the Paternoster family, the Whippy Pie from Sunshine Seasons. So good to have you back on our screens. Thank you so much. And lastly, Jamie Webb. It's the Ricky, uh, the Ricky, the Red Velvet w Mickey Whippy Pie. Your vlogs are the highlight of our day. Nice to see you back. We've missed you. Oh, so many nice comments Thank like you. that. I just really, I think I really appreciate it. I think this year has been so horrible, like mentally, for every, people that maybe haven't experienced mental health uh, problems before are experiencing them and depression, anxiety. Um, we'll certainly talk about this more tomorrow because we want to just talk about mental health a little bit tomorrow and things that we've been doing to try and stay yeah. positive and uh, it hasn't been easy. I think it's, we've all had down times and there may be many of you at the minute that are really struggling mm -hmm. um so yeah we, we'll talk about that tomorrow um a few loads more emails coming in and we're loving reading them really nice uh, as i said the weekend we've got a long weekend so we're going to have time to actually respond so if we haven't responded to you yet it don't worry it's it, it we will respond um because it's just so lovely that you've taken the time to write so yeah it's, it, we're getting more emails than we do like through the <laughs> po box so it's like working really well um, and pictures as well. We're loving the pictures. pictures. Yeah. So Deborah Hanmer, hope I've pronounced that right. Um, I, she says I love all your videos, and um, she's dreaming of future Disney trips. Um, so thank you so much. Also, um, Ian, we did Ian do it yesterday. I apologise. <laughs> Sorry, Ian. <laughs> um, Maricia Ferguson. I hope I pronounced that right. 
just dropping a note to say great to see you both again have missed your vlogs um and that was from alistair marissa ezra and rigsby our dog so, <laughs> so lovely and you've got a lovely reel i can see a simpsons puzzle there which looks really cool <laughs> um also from sarah higgins um from birmingham that's sarah nathan aston and ava uh, and your setup your fireplace just looks absolutely do you remember that one i remember that the one, fireplace yeah. just looks amazing with mickey and uh mini with their on the stockings because we really want to try and get a fireplace in our next house so yeah. it, that's <laughs> exactly what came to my mind straight away when i saw your picture yeah and um also chris and steve from louisiana in the usa hey to louisiana so, uh, wishing y'all a very merry christmas <laughs> love the accent love it <laughs> love the tree so uh, merry christmas to y'all too <laughs> um so it's been lovely reading comments uh, from all around the world. I think we had um, Ukraine, Russia, South Africa, mm -hmm. New Zealand. So it's so great hearing from everyone, especially those on the summer, southern hemisphere where it's warm and you're dealing with summertime. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Today's question. Yeah, today's question before we move on to what's been going on with our holidays and things like that. So the question today is, again, drop the comment below. Um, and I'm absolutely sure we didn't have this last year. I'm really hoping so. Um, what is the address Dory has to remember in Finding Nemo? Uh, we need the full address. Do I you remember? I almost want to sing it because <laughs> she kind of sings it, doesn't she? So what is the address of Dor that Dory has to remember in Finding Nemo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go, everyone. Comment below. Comment below. So firstly, we want to go through the lovely ad daily advent gifts that Genevieve sent to us. So firstly, a nice card. And we're obviously three days behind. Oh, it's Disney. Love it. I love it. I love a Disney card. Love a Disney card. So, um, lovely message in there. So, we will read through that. But thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and there's a set of clues. We've got an email. So, day one. Obviously, we're three days behind. So, we've got mm -hmm. three to do. Day one. Rich, you guess. You may be missing the special holiday treats being served up at Hollywood Studios, but this is the closest pre-packaged version that can cross the Atlantic. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Do you what? guys know as well? Join in, so if you think you know the answer You to may be missing the special holiday treats being served up at Hollywood Studios. I don't you know. You have a guess, you have a guess as well. I don't well. know. I'm thinking like Hollywood Studios does like, Popcorn, cookies. Yeah, I was the, cookies is what came to mind. Yeah. Like holiday cookies. I think it's editable because it's holiday treats. So. Yeah, it says perishable on the box. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a, it's a red velvet whoopie pie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, amazing wow. is that? We were literally oh just, just, just dreaming about the Mickey <laughs> red velvet whoopie pie. It was the answer for today's quiz. Oh, uh, yesterday's that, quiz. that is awesome. Oh, oh wow. wow. Red velvet whoopie pie. Thank you so much. That is like definitely a holiday treat. <laughs> just for me? Or should <laughs> share? We should share. Oh, and the, this is like a really decent whoopie pie. Wow. Oh, we do miss American food. Americans oh, do food. I'm so excited to have this. Right. Oh. Day I'm two. I'm so happy. <laughs> How amazing is that? Day Rich two. Rich is going to read day two out. Okay, day two. And again, guess if you think you know. Um, it's happily ever after fireworks, but in the palm of your hand. Um, in brackets, there's an additional package for you to try out. Okay, it's number two. It says, do not yeah. bend. So I'm going to open it up and see see what it is. I'm not too sure on this one. I like that we take it in turns as well, though. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, guys. What is it? I want to open it carefully. Yeah, this is um, a do not bend one. Oh. Ooh, it's like a... Um... Ooh. Take care when removing the staples. Ah, okay, so there's more, there's, it's gonna be like a little Orlando. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. It's like a little Orlando candle. It's so cool. Not seen that before. So I'm gonna try and hold this up to the camera so you can see like some of the examples. That kind of gives you an idea as to what it actually is. So that is amazing. And you know we love our candles. This is just perfect. Oh, it's got like, it's got the castle on it. And Hogwarts. Oh, that's amazing. It's got like, um, let's see if that comes out on camera. 
but you can see Magic Kingdom Castle, you can see Hogwarts. And so you wrap it round and then the candle obviously goes in the middle, which is what the second thing was, candles. Yeah. So cool. Thank you so much, Genevieve. That gonna, is really thoughtful. We'll get that properly set up and then we'll film that. Yeah, definitely. That's so cool. Thank you so much. That's lovely. And oh, then brilliant. Number three. Okay, number three. We're going to do a swap Rips, exchange. Yeah. Day three. Okay. Something to add to your tea time. Ooh. A true New York City classic. A true New York City classic. Okay, here it is. So we have a mini black and white Supreme from Daisy's Bakery. I've never heard of these before. <laughs> oh, it's like, so it's like doughy, isn't it? It's like yeah. um, it's spongy, spongy on the bottom. It's like a sponge layer and then split into two. So it looks like um, mm. maybe white chocolate or... So nice. Milk chocolate or dark chocolate. We will make oh. a cup of tea and try those on camera uh, later edition. this week. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever had one of these. It's amazing. No, this is so much fun. Thank yeah. you so much for the effort you've Thank been in Thank you so much. Thank you. I've come down to see her calendar. <laughs> what is it? She saw it straight What's away. What's this? What's this? Yeah, she's intrigued. She's more upset that it's blocking her tree. <laughs> what is it? Oh, Here no, we go. No. Can you smell it? She can smell something. She's intrigued. <gasps> Treaties before bed. <laughs> yeah. Treaties before bed. Looks like socks on there. Are oh, you on a treaty? I've to say. Let's see if we can give Willow a treat. So number one. Shall I help you? Because you've got the camera. Willow, what's this? What's it? Oh, it's just like, yeah, I want, I want yeah, some of that. Yeah, comes. Rich oh. can open it, see what Willow does. Willow, what's this? Sniff it. Little fishies, come on. What's this? Little fish. What's this? Oh, I might have to break it for her, it's a bit yeah, big. Yeah, we have a... She has a little... That's still huge. <laughs> she, Willow has to have food really She's a little sore. princess. She has What's a, that? And oh, she yeah. doesn't really, yeah, she likes it off her. She likes yeah. that. Oh, Willow approves. Willow definitely approves. She is literally gobbling it up. She loves it. We're trying to get socks to come down. So she's had hers, so. Is there another fish in there for socks? Yeah, it's one and a half fish for oh, socks. Perfect. Yeah. She's got a bit more to eat there. Here you go, come on. Sometimes Willow can't see where it is. Here. There it is. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. Oh, she wants to be fed. <laughs> Trying to cool socks down. He is sleeping upstairs. <laughs> he might come down before bed. I think she's full. She's only just had her dinner. Yeah. Maybe try again. Socks okay. is on his way. I've just heard him jump down from the bed. You just hear this thud. Yeah, thud. Come on, socks. Come on. Here he comes. Socks. Hello. Come here then. What's this? He's been asleep. You can tell he's been asleep. Yeah. Oh. Treaty? <gasps> yeah. Oh, he's not sure. Bit big. Oh, yeah. Bit big. He loves them. That nice. There's some more. Another one there. They do like their treats broken up now. As they're getting older, Socks and Willow are 13, turning 14 in May. So they do like to have their, their, their food broken up into small bits now. They're very delicate cats, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> They're very That's sheltered. A, a definitely a positive. Look at her waiting for more. I <laughs> know, she's eating it all. It's all gone. Willow. It's all gone. We have to see what number two brings you us. You can only have one treat a day. One treat a day. <laughs> <laughs> they know that there's, there's two more days oh, no. coming out. There we go. Definite thumbs up for this calendar. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that? Good boy. We're really loving this Sarah Beanie's New Life in the Country program. Don't know if anyone else is watching it. It's on channel four. We're watching it on catch up. This is like episode four. Yeah, it's episode, it's episode it's like, right? Yeah, it's so good. I really like it. Really homely. Homely. Yeah, they're building a new big house in a field. From scratch. Yeah. Just lastly, you wanted to tell you a bit more about our holiday plans and so on, because we did a really, a video in the summer with loads of optimism and enthusiasm, thinking we were going somewhere. And that's, we didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So we should have been going to Florida in May. Uh, we didn't go. Um, we should have gone to Disneyland Paris a couple of times, but we didn't go. We were going to go to the Isle of Wight. Um, Which almost happened. Almost happened. Almost happened, and then it didn't. Because we were obviously it was like when we were going to go to Florida in September, and my grandparents were going to come and my mum, and obviously we cancelled then. And then we were going to go to the Isle of Wight for a week, and that didn't happen. Uh, no, we were, firstly we were going to go to uh, Mallorca. Oh, Ma yeah, Mallorca. Yeah, it's changed. Right. We've changed plans so many times. Like Plan B. I don't know about you guys, yeah. but you had like Plan B, Plan C, C Plan D, yeah. Plan E. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just about to go to 
the Isle of Wight, no Palmer, uh, yeah. Mallorca, and then Rich had your accident. Yeah, and then that put a spanner in the works, so there was no way we were getting on a plane. No, Rich couldn't like straighten his leg, it was in um, strapped up and, and everything. Yeah. Oh, door, there's another Amazon delivery. <laughs> they literally knock on the door, Amazon delivery. <laughs> um, yeah, so that didn't go ahead. So in the end, we obviously cancelled everything. Um, we were going to holiday in the UK in the Isle of Wight, um, but we cancelled that due to the lockdown in November. Mm -hmm. So that's the year for this year, gone. Um, we are optimistic for next year, hopefully later in the year. Um, we've got, hopefully going to go back to Walt Disney World for the 50th anniversary, uh, late September, early October. Yeah. So that's in the diary. We've got stuff penciled in, in terms of like, time off work and so on, but we haven't committed to anything because we just don't know. We just don't know. And we were meant to be going to Walt Disney World at Christmas. Yeah. Uh, this year. Uh, and obviously that won't happen either. So we have had, like many of you can probably sympathise and um, relate, um, we've had many cancellations this year. Um, and unfortunately it's just it's just the way it is. Um, but yeah. we're it's optimistic. Right it's the right thing to do. Uh, yeah. We're going to try and have to try and get our annual passes back from Disneyland Paris because we, we obviously paid for them in full, we didn't use them. Uh, but they're adding on the closure dates at the end, so we'll work out if we can get enough trips yep. out of them. Um, but mostly we're just booking things. So our advice has been that people have asked is, just book stuff that's cancellable and not going to result in you losing money or mm -hmm. have a huge challenge. So like Disney, do um, they've got like a guarantee thing that means that you can get a full refund up to seven days before. I think as we've moved through the year, more companies have shown flexibility in, in being able to book things. So um, it has got a lot better and hopefully um, you're able to find some good deals and good flexibility in potential holidays next year. Yeah, and even if we went anywhere at the moment, if we were able to travel, we would want to go somewhere, probably in the UK, um, and not go anywhere. We don't want to be going out where people are, so if there's nice walks to do or you can be really far away from people, then we'd be up for that. Yeah. But So yeah, next year, hopefully there'll be some Florida or Disney World. That's the focus. Fingers crossed. We're optimistic, you know. Um, but let us... Sorry. That's right. Um, the, the vaccine news um, as well is um, promising, so... Yeah. yeah. So we're planning at the minute for September, maybe something earlier in the year. We've got, like, penciled holidays in, but we'll, we'll basically want a clearer picture and then we'll book. Yes. What about you guys? What are you planning? Um, optimistically or... Have you pushed everything out to 2022 because you just want to wait till it's back to normal? I suppose we really need the next like two or three months is going to be really telling of how quickly the vaccine gets rolled out and how much of an impact it has. So we'll wait and see. Wait and see. So, but we'll still, we'll always keep you guys up and running, and we'll be back on camera in Disney hopefully in no time. So yeah, tomorrow day off. So we've got some exciting stuff planned. Well, as exciting as it gets. <laughs> um, we've got some plans and we're really hoping it goes ahead. Apparently there's snow coming overnight tonight. Um, have you checked it recently? I think it's a little, still, bit, of snow. Little bit of snow coming, but um, it shouldn't um, affect our plans. Maybe hopefully. Cool. Right, see you guys tomorrow. Year, it's just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been long to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories.